Hey booktube, this is the 2016 end of year bookish survey. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and this is the 2016 end of year bookish survey. It was created by Jamie at the Perpetual Page Turner and I it a little better than just kind of an end of year wrap up because I think it's more concise. You know, it's it's uh, much more directed. So it's kind of long. So I did it in several parts and this is part one. I could never narrow this down to one book. I'm never able to narrow it down to one book. It's like when someone asks, what's your favorite book? And you go, uh, how long do you have? <laughs> Same thing. So let me just rattle off some of the top uh, hits of 2016. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This was narrated by John Lindstrom. Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman is narrated by Carla Cor Corvo, McLeod Andrews, uh, PJ Auckland, Steve West, and a few other people. City of Mirrors by Justin Cronin, which is narrated by Scott Brick. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. This is narrated by Julia Emelin. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. This is narrated by Therese Plummer. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mast. This is narrated on audio by Jennifer Ikeda. And The Queen of All That Dies by Laura Thalassa. That Would Be First Life by Gina Showalter. On audio, this is narrated by Emma Galvin and Zachary Weber. And I thought I was going to love it. I like Gina Showalter's other YA series, um, Alice in Zombieland. And I thought I was going to love this, especially because I love the narrators. But no, <laughs> I did not. It was kind of a mess of a book. Well, the book that surprised me in a bad way was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And that on audio is narrated by Olivia Song. And I just had a lot of problems with this book. I did a whole review on it where I talk about those problems. But, you know, I love Colleen Hoover, but I just did not love that book. But there were two books that surprised me in a good way. And they're completely different kinds of books. The first one was The Inquisitor's Tale by Adam Gidwitz. On audio, this is narrated by an entire cast. And the thing that surprised me was that it's middle grade. It's about the Middle Ages. I don't read books like either of those. I thought it was going to be a complete waste of my time. And yet, I loved it. It's a delightful story of three children and a dog and their adventures in France in the Middle Ages. And the other book that surprised me in a good way was Stinger by Mia Sheridan. This is narrated by Maxine Mitchell and Brian Paulino. And this is a story that I never would have thought I would enjoy. It's about a young attorney and she is going to a convention in Las Vegas. And she runs into a guy who is a porn star. And he's also at a convention and they're the conventions are being held at the same hotel and they run into each other and, and start a romance. And this book did not go where I thought it was going to go. And I was so pleasantly surprised and I can highly recommend the book. So yeah, huge surprise, but in a very good way. I have been pushing the Pillars of Reality series by Jack Campbell, narrated on audio by McLeod Andrews, for a while now. It's a series of six books, and I have just been talking and talking and talking about it. And finally, I've seen some people on BookTube pick it up and start to read it. And I am thrilled because they love it. And I just, I can't speak highly enough about this series. It is uh, YA, kind of steampunk, sci-fi, sort of fantasy uh, in it. There are two guilds, the Mage Guild, which is magic, and the Mechanics Guild, which is science and steampunk. And the two main characters are from each one of the guilds, and then they have to come together and kind of fix the world. It is a wonderful series. And in fact, there's a new series that's coming out that's like a follow-up series to that called Daughter of Dragons. And I can't wait till it comes out. I think it comes out in February. For this one, I'd have to say the Green Mountain series by Marie Force. This is adult romance, and 
It is narrated on audio most of the time, or it seems like most of the books have been narrated by Christina Traster, who is a new narrator to me, and I love her. She just does these books so well. These are all about a family in uh, New England somewhere, I think Vermont or New Hampshire, something like that. And they run a little country store in a small town, and they also have a maple syrup farm. It's just... I just love these books. I am hoping to finish that series this year. For me, the best sequel was A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. This is the second book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I think, now I've heard conflicting things, but it seems like originally I heard this was going to be a trilogy, and now it's more books. I didn't care much about this book. It's okay. It's a very loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It has to do with the Fae and this girl that I couldn't stand. I really, I thought she, as a main character, she was immature and kind of a pain in the neck. And I didn't love reading about her. And so then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick this one up just to give it a chance. And man, I was blown away. I am not even kidding. This was so good. This character, within about two chapters, grabbed me. And I started feeling for her. And as the story went on, I began to see there's a lot more to her. And the thing about this book, uh, one of the characters in this book, I'll talk about in a minute. But I, I'm shocked to be telling you this, but this really was my favorite sequel of 2016. I, I had to really think about this one, but I think the best series ender would be Frost Like Night in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy by Sarah Roche. Um, this is narrated by Kate Rudd and I think a few other people. But this last book, Frost Like Night, came out this uh, in 2016, and the series, it's YA fantasy, and the series ended uh, with a focus on sacrifice and responsibility and love and giving up your life for the better good, and I just really liked it. It had a very happy ending, it had a very satisfying ending, and I just thought it was pretty much brilliant. I loved it, and I would highly recommend this series if you like YA fantasy. So that's the end of part one of my 2016 end of year bookish survey tag. If you have any thoughts about any of these books, uh, or opinions in general, just about, you know, what you've read, then let's talk about that in the comments below. And part two is coming up, so I will see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>